Lighty clots, subtract, the untapped science of less. Discover the power of a less, in this summary of a subtract, the untapped science of less by Lighty clots. Learn how subtraction can be a driving force for positive change, as well as why it is often overlooked in our lives. Explore the mental and cultural factors behind our tendency to add rather than subtract, and how taking a step back can lead us to innovative solutions and a better understanding of the world around us. Get ready to uncover the value of evaluating what we can remove in order to improve different aspects of our lives, from personal growth to addressing systemic issues. The Power of Subtraction The book highlights that subtraction is an overlooked force for change through the experience of Sue Bierman and the citizens of San Francisco. Although subtracting the double-decker freeway blocking the waterfront was a sound proposal, San Franciscans voted to keep it until the Loma Prieta earthquake forced them to remove it. The key message is that subtraction can lead to positive change. The Embarcadero waterfront, which now occupies the space the freeway used to cover, is one of the most popular tourist attractions in America. However, people tend to focus on adding rather than subtracting when trying to improve things. Most of us struggle to think positively about subtraction. The book encourages readers to consider the benefits of subtraction in personal and global contexts, such as reducing clutter in our homes and tackling climate change. The book also explores why people fail to subtract, providing insights on how to overcome this mindset. The Power of Subtraction The author of the book explores the idea that human beings tend to add rather than subtract, and subtracting is less mentally accessible than adding. He uses various experiments to prove his theory, showing that people have a natural tendency to add more notes to music, ingredients to recipes, and activities to travel itineraries. This phenomenon is not because of personal preference but rather mental accessibility, and it explains why some ideas seem more obvious to us than others. The author also discovered that when participants were reminded that subtraction was an option, significantly more of them took things away. This book teaches us how to embrace subtraction and the power that comes with it, showing that sometimes less is more. The Bias Towards Addition Humans tend to overlook subtraction and prefer addition. The book, Subtract, The Untapped Science of Less highlights that adding makes us feel competent and happy. Male bowerbird add sticks, leaves, and colorful objects to their nests to demonstrate competence to potential mates. Although choosing to subtract can also be competent, it is harder to demonstrate. Our brains evolved to react positively to acquisition because for our hunter-gatherer ancestors, acquiring anything meant survival. This means that adding feels good. The Inception of Civilization A fascinating archaeological discovery at an ancient temple in Turkey called Gobekli Tepe has shown that adding and cooperation have been crucial in shaping human civilization. The temple, an early example of monumental architecture, predates nearby human settlements, and its construction brought together multiple bands of hunter-gatherers, who eventually became settled farmers. The desire to add and create something superfluous, in the form of the temple, led these groups to work cooperatively, pursue agriculture and settle in larger groups. The preference for adding, evident in the monumental architecture, was the catalyst for the development of human civilization, making it humanity's oldest cultural heritage. The Addictive Nature of Consumer Capitalism Truman's post-war recipe of consumerism and growth has fueled modern capitalist economies, resulting in our preference for constant adding. By promoting economic growth, we've seen an increase in per capita income, global life expectancy, and more products to consume. However, this has come at a high cost, our culture of busyness has led to anxiety, stress, and a lack of leisure time. We need to reevaluate whether constant economic growth is truly good and how it affects our quality of life. The Power of Subtraction The key message of the book is that systemic oppression can be tackled with subtraction. The author asserts that before subtracting anything, we should gain an understanding of the system and its parts. The focus should be on removing the barriers to equality instead of adding to them. 
The apartheid regime in South Africa serves as a fantastic example of how divestment and subtraction can lead to significant change. Rather than adding support to the forces against apartheid, foreign investors withdrew financial support from the regime, reducing its power slowly. By 1990, apartheid had begun to crumble. The author argues that subtractive efforts are more effective because it diminishes the force of the system itself, and this approach can be scaled to tackle other forms of systemic oppression, such as racism. The power of subtraction. Subtracting unnecessary elements requires extra effort but leads to incredible benefits. By refusing to settle for good enough, we can create substantial transformations and uncover hidden potential. Subtraction is often underestimated, with people preferring to settle for the status quo instead of pursuing something better. Nobel-winning economist Herbert Simon coined the term satisficing to describe this tendency. However, going beyond this mindset can lead to remarkable results. Kate Orff, an urban designer from Lexington, Kentucky, knew this well. When she won a competition to redesign Lexington's cityscape, she spotted the opportunity to subtract the unnecessary in the town. Lexington had blocked off a creek running through the town over a hundred years ago to prevent cholera outbreaks and flooding. This solution was good enough, but Orff saw the potential of removing the buildings and roads that covered the creek. This decision turned out to be groundbreaking, and the cityscape's transformation was incredible. Thanks to her efforts, the creek became a peaceful focal point, ideal for leisurely activities. In essence, the power of subtraction surpasses that of addition. It involves eliminating everything that doesn't contribute to the end goal. Indeed, subtraction might prove more challenging since it requires critical thinking and decision-making. However, the benefits of subtraction outweigh the difficulty of implementation. This concept transcends urban design, permeating almost every facet of life. Whether chipping away at a wordy sentence or a concrete freeway, the more we remove the unnecessary elements, the more we'll create things better than good enough. In conclusion, subtracting the inessential requires extra effort but leads to incredible outcomes. In conclusion, Subtract, the untapped science of less delves into the untapped potential behind the concept of subtraction. From Sue Bierman's fight for a better San Francisco waterfront to the secrets of ancient architecture in Turkey, Lydie Klotz demonstrates the transformative impact of removing rather than adding. The book calls on us to reconsider our natural inclination to accumulate, and highlights the benefits of shedding the unnecessary in various aspects of life, such as tackling systemic oppression, beautifying urban landscapes, and even personal growth. By embracing the art of subtraction, we can unlock hidden opportunities and create more fulfilling, efficient, and sustainable lives.